things. Then we talk to your doctors and help you through your medical treatment. But the question on the table here is how long does your case take? And the truth is a lot of that is going to depend on how your medical treatment goes because the true legal part of the case doesn't really start until you're medically stationary. Medically stationary can mean one of two things. It, hopefully it means you're all better, back to 100%, back to where you were before you got injured. Often it doesn't mean that, unfortunately. Um, a lot of injuries never really completely heal. So in that case, medically stationary means when you're medically stationary, when you're about as good as you're going to get. For some people, this might mean you're now in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. For other people, it might mean your back's always going to hurt a little bit. Um, but once you're medically stationary, that's typically when we send the demand letter. So the demand letter is a detailed letter that we write to the insurance company for the person who hurt you. And it tells the insurance company what happened, whose fault it was, why it was their fault, and uh, about your injuries and how this has affected your life and finally how much money they need to pay if they want to make this go away. Once they get the demand letter, the negotiation starts. That can go quickly or it can be really drawn out and take a long time. Sometimes the negotiation will involve a disputed fact that we need to actually go and 